What is going on, everybody? See here. Welcome back to some more Hydroneer. And today, before we get into the episode, I want to talk about the mods that we did install today. So we are running some mods. We have storage crates, table saw, and chalkboards. Um, now, I believe that these are all from, yeah, Blame Itchy. Um, I believe that Itchy is one of the developers of Hydroneer. These are just like, these aren't part of the game. They're just something that they made in their spare time. But the storage crates is what I wanted. Uh, and then I saw the table saw and then I just saw the sign. So I was like, okay, we got to get it all. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop on into our game. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all fun things. Let's go ahead and let's start this, shall we? All right. So what I need to do is I need to figure out how many floors we're going to need here. Now, if I grab this guy. Put that there. Or do these floors clip into this? Yes, they do. Okay. So. Uh, we're going to need approximately, okay, so we've got, oh, geez, what is that? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's just say 12 by approximately. Twelve by four. Let's just go and grab 12 by four of the floors. And like I said, I think we're going to go with wooden floors here because I, I think the wooden floors are the ones that I like the most. All right. So I believe to find these items, we need to go into Bridgeport here. I think they're with the carts. I think they're with the carts. Unless they're... Wait, hold on. Are they over here now? Oh, they're right here. Okay. So table saw and the storage crate. It's a crate to store items in. What more could you want? Exactly. Okay, so this is where we need. Let's go ahead and grab some money. Oh, the chalkboards. Oh, very nice. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and let's go grab our money. Uh, we'll grab some of those. Now, I think each storage crate only holds one item. I don't think you can put like multiple different items into one storage crate. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, I'm going to say that I think it's going to be limited to one specific item. All right, so we'll go ahead and let's let's actually purchase a couple of these since we already have our money here. There's a toggle infinite. Oh, yeah, that's right. So if you're in creative mode, you can toggle infinite. Um, okay, so now let's bring these over here because, like I said, we're going to start with wood floors. I think I like the wood floors the best. Now, I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to guess that we're going to have to probably purchase them I don't think that worked okay if I purchase that and then will it go in here okay so we just have to purchase them first which is which is not bad all right so we'll set that there we have one wood floor and I'm gonna need probably a total of 48 <laughs> okay so I have 52 wood floors this thing is amazing like, this is absolutely fantastic. Um, I think we definitely are going to um, get a lot of those. <laughs> because we could just store, like, random items in them. And, you know, I could bring the money over here. And I wonder if I could store one of these inside of another one. Like if I store this one empty, obviously, can I store it inside of another one? Let's find out here. Oh my gosh, we have one storage crate. <laughs> that is that's amazing. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay. Now I'm gonna say that with an item, it's probably not gonna store it. But that's okay. Oh my gosh, that is so much better than doing that by hand. That's so much better. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's take this back and let's get our floors. Oh, you know what? My my truck's almost out of water here. You know, this mod is such a nice, clean mod. Like, it looks so... It, I mean, it obviously was made by one of the developers. But it's such a good mod. Like, I feel like this this could very well be part of the base game. I mean, it's like 1,300 hydro, like hydro coins or whatever. But I feel like that would be so nice for it to be in the base game like that. Like, I could, I could absolutely see that. Because then it would help with... Um, it'd probably help with lag and things like that if you had a whole bunch of items. Instead of having like items just laying around everywhere, you could just have them in a nice little storage crate. Man, that thing is so nice. Now, let's see what happens here. If I drop it 
So storage crate. I'm not worried about that one. This one. 52 of these. Can I just drop this one? <laughs> oh, man, it works. Oh, this is life changing. And it should be right here with the wooden floors. Absolutely wonderful. All right. So let's go ahead and let's set this here. Now we should be able to hit this button and we get a floor. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Now, do I want the floor like this? You know what? I think I want. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We're gonna have run sideways. I think we're gonna have run like that. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out of here. And we are going to place all these floors down in this whole place. Just by placing the floors down alone, this whole place is going to look so much nicer. Okay, so we got the majority of this floor down. Now, what I want to do is I want to go get the stairs first, connect the stairs up, and make sure that we're, like, lined up for the next floor. I am going to use the stone around the forges because, like, I mean, that would make sense, right? It would make sense to have... um your forge flooring be like like stone because well that's a forge <laughs> you know you know what i'm saying so uh i think we're gonna use that for those because that'll make it like you know i think that would look legit um but i want to go get some stairs first so i'm gonna go ahead and just set this right there for now i love that machine that is that is like my hands down favorite thing right now <laughs> i absolutely love it um let's go see what kind of stairs we have right outside I'm not 100% sure on what stairs that we liked here. Um, I think the stone stair. I feel like the stairs probably all look about the same. But we might actually need to put something underneath the stairs. We might actually need to throw some like, concrete floor. We might even need to throw some wood floor underneath the stairs so it just doesn't look... Uh, so you can't like see through it, you know, and see the dirt. That's not what we want. Yeah, I think these stairs... Oh, I didn't bring any money with me. I think these stairs would probably be fine. Oh, I can't believe I didn't bring any money with me. Um, and I don't have any in the back. Wait, can I sell the scrap? Will you buy the scrap? No. Darn it. Okay, we're going to have to go grab our money. You know what? We're going to go back into town. We're going to look at the other stairs just in case. We're going to do our due diligence and look because even while we're there, I can pick up some walls. We can start picking up uh, some, some regular walls just to kind of get things like filled in. Uh, but those stairs right there might work. I kind of like the darker color to uh, to separate them a little bit more. I don't want them to be like the exact same color. We can't have like the exact same everything going everywhere. Otherwise, it's, just, it's too much of the same, you know? Okay, so for standards, we, there's not like a luxury. No, okay. We'll have to come back and get some luxury stuff. Uh, let's see what these stairs look like. All the stairs might actually be the same too. I don't know. No, they are different. Okay, so these ones are lighter. These match. The, I don't like that. I don't want them to be matchy-matchy. Too matchy matchy. Let's go see what color the um the cottage ones are. Cause I'm I'm thinking the cottage walls for the walls of the place. Okay, what color are the cottage stairs? Oh, are there even There is no cottage stairs. Okay. All right, so we'll go with the stone stairs because those are darker. Um, and then we could go ahead and grab some cottage walls. I'm just going to get regular walls for now, and then we can figure out where we want to place um, windows. But I am going to get these two. I'm going to get regular walls and half walls. I don't know how many we're going to need. Do I like that wall pattern? I, I You know, I do. I actually do like that wall pattern. Because it's like, it's a lot of the same, but at the same time, it's like, it also, yeah, it doesn't look as much as the brick. Okay. Let me go grab, um, I'm probably going to need to grab some cash money here. Because I, yeah. <laughs> I need to split up all of my money and just throw it into all of these things so we can just buy everything and not have to worry about bringing money around. So I grabbed 16 walls um, and 8 cottage windows as well. So we're going to go and place these in, see how they look. And then we will grab the stairs as well, because we're going to need those stairs in order to, you know, make sure everything is like laid out appropriately. 
Uh, but I am actually kind of curious. We're going to need half walls too because I think we're going to be bringing down... We're going to be going down a half of a foundation or like one foundation. So like we're going to need half walls in order to like fill in some stuff. So we'll have to see how that goes. So we're going to go ahead and throw these down here for now. And then I'm going to go grab those stairs too because I think we only need four. Oh, we might actually need more to get up into our house. I'm not 100% positive here. Okay, so let's go and let's do the stairs first so we can get everything lined up. So, yeah, one, two, three, four. That'll be enough. Yeah, we're going to have to have, we're going to have to like finish underneath of these to make it look like decent because it's going to look terrible if it's just like, you know, floating that. Um, but I should have enough wood floors to make that work. Now, this is not the width of the standard floor. This is half. So we might have to go grab some of those half floors. I'm not sure here. Um, all right, so that looks okay. Now we are gonna have to redo some of this stuff because, because it's not gonna line up. Like none of this stuff's lining up right now. So basically I have to move all of this stuff up here. Oh, okay. I was like, what's going on here? Why is it? <laughs> it was like hovering halfway up and I was like, no, something horrible to like that. Stop. Stop doing that. Just, just place, please. <laughs> Ooh. I'm going to have to actually hold on a second. We're going to have to figure this out because when it comes to placing the walls, where's my, here we go. We're going to have to get the single floors to go there. Because if we don't, our exterior walls are not going to line up to this floor at all. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Something's like acting weird. I can't get this floor to place down on the ground like I want it to. Like before I would just look down and it would go down. It's not wanting to do that anymore. Oh, okay. Scroll wheel fixes it. <laughs> scroll, scroll wheel fixes everything. So there's one. There's two. Okay, so we'll have to put in the single floors there, but then that's lined up. Okay, that should work. So we should be able to go ahead and place our floors off of this. Uh, we should be able to place these like that. Yeah, see, that actually looks like it's like a, a proper foundation for like, you know, the forges and stuff. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I'm actually trying to place this flooring all underneath of here. Because we have all the stone flooring anyways. And like I said, this is like an exterior flooring. So we could have our machines, in theory, just sitting on this. And I think that'll give it a, a little bit more of a finished look. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I'm trying to get it back over here. That's kind of a... Kind of a trick. Okay, I think that's in the right spot. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Uh, you know what? These gems are starting to get caught up here. Let's go ahead and press those. Oh, super lag. All right, that's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and get all these floors finished. Oh, no. We're going to still have that one spot right here of dirt. Darn it. I wonder if, you know what, we'll put something, we'll try to hide that. We'll try to hide that somehow. Okay, so I need to get regular floors to go in here. Let's grab our, uh, let's grab our walls. And let's just start placing, let's get rid of these guys for now. Let's start placing these things down and see what they're going to look like. I think it's going to look good. I think. So we've got cottage wall. Cottage window. All right, so let's start with the walls here. So that is the exterior of the wall. And we'll say we'll put a door in the middle. See, this is where I'm curious how things are going to line up. Because this is technically higher. So, like, if I grab this wall... 
and place it like that. I mean, that doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't really work. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get some uh, half walls in order to make this look correct. Now, the, the next question is, do I line it up with this height right here? Or do we line it up with this height right here? I think we're going to line it up with this height. Because if we don't, all the walls in this whole area aren't going to look level. They're going to look off. Okay, so I threw some windows in here. I like this because you can kind of see out there, you know, you can see the stuff. And I was trying to figure out how I want to do this. So I think we're going to have a door here that leads to out here. Oh, darn it. I think that's what we're going to do for that. Um, do I have any more? Yeah, I have plenty of flooring. So we're going to have to get in. Like I said, uh, you know what? We might actually be able to do... If I grab this wall, can I put this under? That's the inside though. Oh, that actually might semi work like that. Yeah, that actually, that doesn't look too bad. Um, we definitely need to throw like some windows in here you know, like some stuff like that. Uh, and we are going to put like a facade on it. We're going to put like the roof line and stuff like that to make it look like it has a roof, even though the interior is not going to have a roof. Um, the interior, I think it's just gonna be a flat ceiling. We're going to put like ceiling panels up right here. I might end up digging this out and trying to keep it all the same height. So that way that room looks a little bit bigger. That doesn't look too bad. Yeah. And then we'll throw a door here. And then a wall on that side. Okay, that, that won't be too bad. Um, Let's go ahead and let's move one of these, though. Let's get a wall over here, or a window. And then let's get another window. We'll put it maybe right... Oh, hello. That's not going to work there. Dirt is, is... Is it the dirt that's in the way? Oh, you know what? It's probably... It's probably this thing. No. Huh. Interesting. It just doesn't want to go over just that one. So weird. Hmm. Let's see if I can do it with a regular wall. No. Just doesn't want to do that. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and throw a window up like right here. No. Right there, we'll put a door there. We'll put a window here. That is going to be our last window for now. And then we'll put a door here. Now, we could also incorporate this whole thing. Um, Similar like this. And we could just bring this all the way over, which is actually exactly what we're going to do. We're going to bring this over this way for the pump house area. Um, and then I do want to put, uh, I think we're going to finish this off. I think we're probably getting some more floors, throw some floors in here and then throw some, um, some steps in actually what we could do also is we could do something like this since it is technically an exterior floor. We just can't get up there. <laughs> Let's see if, are these steps big enough to reach that? We might have to take some dirt out here. Oh, yeah, no, that'll work. Yeah, that might actually work just like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and put a wall up over there. We'll put a door maybe on the ground. It's coming together. It's coming together. Oh, yeah, see, I think that's going to look cool when we're all done. Put the put the wall, put the door in right there, cover this up, you know, make a n nice little roof there. It's gonna look like this whole house is gonna be built into this mine. Oh, I'm I, you know, this I'm liking this so far. I'm really, really liking it. And that storage, this storage thing is making things so much better. 
You know, I wonder... If I just extend those out, we could throw a wall right there. That'll probably work just like that. Gosh, those are almost the same color, aren't they? I thought they were a little bit darker. So yeah, we need to get another step. So we get that middle one done. And then we need to get little walls right here. Place the wall down. So that covers that up so you can't see that gap. And then we need to finish the whole interior here. You know, I actually, I have some stone walls too. Since we have that stone path out here, we could... I know those are stone walls. I could use these stone walls here. Because those are all going to get switched out eventually anyways. I could put these ones... Like that. <laughs> I love this. Oh my gosh, I love that. Look at that. That worked out like it tied in real nice. And then we'll put regular cottage walls up right there. Do I have any more cottage walls? I have one. Hopefully it lets me put it in here with this stuff. Oh, it does. Good. So we'll go ahead and finish that out. Oh, this is this is coming together. I like this. And you know what? I do like this. And I think what we might do is we might actually take the stone foundation from out there. Might actually put that right in here and kind of fill this in with the stone foundation as well. Then we got to get a roof going and we got to get all this stuff going. Oh my gosh, things are going phenomenally. And then we have to probably put a stone foundation somewhere in here so we can actually, you know, you can't be walking on dirt all the time. That's only for the mine, you know, you open the door, you have the mining stuff. That's what the mine's for. It's for the dirts and things. Actually, you know what? I bet you we probably have enough cloudium. Do we have enough cloudium for another one? Haha, <laughs> 393. Yes, we do indeed. All right, we'll just go ahead and leave that there for now. Let it keep doing its thing. But that is going to end this episode. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the things. Um, I've actually got to head out to do a live stream. So super exciting stuff. Um, next episode, we're going to hopefully... I think next episode, we'll go ahead and finish the exterior. We'll go ahead and get the doors, um, all the walls and stuff like that. We might not do the roof right away. We might not do the roof because that might be kind of a trick in itself. But uh, we'll hopefully get all of these walls done. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do for the ceiling, too, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, thanks again for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. And I will see you in the next one.